everyone, welcome to Kids Corner with Kylie and Kim. I'm Kylie and I am a second grade teacher in Salmonac, Illinois, and this is currently my second year teaching. And I'm Kim, I teach kindergarten in Sandwich, Illinois, and this is my 29th year of teaching. And one fun fact about the two of us, we happen to be mother and daughter. So the purpose of our channel was to just kind of create mini lessons for you guys to do um, different fun activities at home with your kids. So today we thought we'd talk a little bit about the coronavirus <gasps> since this is something, you know, that's happening right now in our world. And an easy way to kind of talk to your kids about this is to let them know that this is a virus that is has become a pandemic. And maybe talk a little bit about what pandemic it is and the fact that it is a virus that is spreading across the world. And also right now some of the things that we can do to help prevent this virus from spreading. So we thought we would come on and kind of talk to you and show you some ways that you can help your kids with this. First of all, I think it's important that they realize that you know, not to be scared that the reason that we're not in schools and we're not you know, out and around town and in stores and things is because the important thing we can do is stay inside our homes, you know, stay with our immediate family, the people that live in our homes, so that we can stop everything from spreading. And sometimes it's hard for little kids to understand that you know they can't go down to McDonald's or they can't go to Target. Um, and why are we staying inside? So we think it's important that you talk to them that you know it's important that we stay inside um, and you know obey this shelter in policy that's going on right now to help you know not spread the virus. And then I thought Kylie she'd kind of show us we'll kind of go into some things that you can tell your kids that they can do. We thought something kind of fun to explain it would be to be germ busters mm -hmm. and kind of look at ourselves as kind of a fun way little kids and actually all kids love to be thought that you know they can do something to help this so we thought we would explain this in the form of <gasps> germ busters so one of the first thing you can do as a germ buster is obviously learn the proper way to wash your hands so Kylie's going to show us that so we have here just some hand sanitizer just put a little bit on your hand and then one easy way for how long to let kids know to wash their hands for would be to either sing the happy birthday song or you could also do the ABCs. So I'll just do the ABCs. You wanna make sure that you get in between your fingers, up by your fingernails, and all of those areas to make sure you get all those germs off of your hands. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? And that's it. And then your hands should be plenty clean. Um, and again, you can use that with soap and water or if you have hand sanitizer too, just make sure you really get it all over your hands so they're nice and clean. Um, so that's one way. The next way is how to properly blow your nose and where you should put that tissue when you're done blowing your nose. So just clean a tissue. Blowing your nose, making sure you wrap the tissue up and then simply putting it back in the garbage. And then what are we supposed to do after we blow our nose? What do you reckon to do after that? I think we should wash our hands again. Yeah, because we kind of just got germs on our hands after touching that tissue and blowing our nose. So you want to make sure that you don't have any leftover germs on your hands. So you could simply take the hand sanitizer or water and soap again and do the same thing that we just showed you, either doing the ABCs or you could do happy birthday song, either one. One other thing, Kylie, I know is, you know, especially back in my day when people would cough, they would all, the natural thing would be, they would say, cover your mouth when you cough. Mm -hmm. But in this day and age with everything going on, I thought maybe you could show our parents and our boys and girls the right thing to do when they have to cough. When they cough, they should not cough into their hands. They should cough into something called their germ jail. So you can teach them how to do that by making a nice big muscle turning their arm in and coughing 
into their elbow. This will help not spread germs around by doing it that way. Our last few other um, ideas for you guys was simply to, you know, stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, um, and also to make sure we're eating healthy. So right here we just have an apple. This is an example of something healthy, a snack that you can give your kids. Staying hydrated and eating healthy foods is always something to help with your immune system and to protect yourself from any virus that you could get. Another thing, one more thing that I was thinking about that we're hearing a lot out in the news right now too is the whole social distancing mm -hmm. um, and how important it is to you know have that social distancing, which is of course why we are all staying in our homes. And sometimes kids get confused on, you know, can I give my mom a hug? Can I give my dad a hug? you know, my brother, my sister, my grandma, or grandpa. And it's hard for them to understand who is it okay to give a hug to and who is it, you know, not. So I think it's important that you talk with your kids that it's okay to give your direct family that's living inside your house, you know, a hug, that's okay. But, you know, if you are happen to be, you know, outdoors, maybe, you know, walking your dog or something and you come across someone, you know, kind of explaining the importance of being, you know, six feet apart um, and not to be running up and hugging someone and maybe just instead, you know, staying apart and, you know, waving hello and saying hi that way instead of shaking hands or running up and giving them a hug. Um, and I think if we explain that to our children as well, it will help too. So we hope this has helped you and we hope you can encourage your children and yourself to become germ busters so we'd like to end by saying, who are you going to call Germ Busters?